On the right here, we have a graph of force versus time. You might remember from intro physics that the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. This is Newton's second law. We use it a lot. Statics, dynamics, all over the place. If we remember that the definition of acceleration is change in velocity over change in time, we can rewrite the F net equation this way, where we just replace A with dv dt. Then, if we separate and integrate, uh, we see that the integral of the force, force with respect to time is equal to the integral of the mass times the change in velocity, or which, and the force with respect to time is actually just the area under the graph there on the right. If we discretize that, if we think about that as discrete points instead of a continuous function, so in math class you learned about integrating continuous functions. If we think about that as discrete points, we can break that down into discrete distinct delta t chunks that correspond to distinct delta v chunks. And we can do that mathematically in MATLAB using trapezoidal integration. So you might also remember this from math class, um, where you talked about this idea that you can approximate the area underneath any curve with these trapezoids that get smaller and smaller and smaller as you get to get more and more um, true to the actual values. But this basic idea of I can find a trapezoid, I can, I can find the area underneath any curve by thinking about a whole bunch of trapezoids all together is called trapezoidal integration. Uh, and it's a numerical integration technique, which means we're using it on discrete variables. So MATLAB has two commands that get you trapezoidal integration. Um, one of them is trap Z, which um, computes the trapezoidal area underneath a vector or underneath a curve for discrete data points. Um, so really it's just taking your vectors and, and thinking about the two adjacent points. And the other function that it has is cumtrap z, which is a cumulative trapezoidal integration. So the difference between trap z and cumtrap z is that trap z finds each distinct trapezoid and records the area. Cumtrap z records the cumulative value of the area. So it finds your new value and it adds it to all the previous values. So in terms of finding a numerical integral over time, cumtrap z works better for that. So we're gonna to go to our data here, where we have this plot of force versus time. And this is for a jump off of a force plate, and we wanna use the impulse and momentum function to find the area under the curve. So if we take our data, our force here is in this vector fz stored in the workspace. If we take our data and we say, uh, area equals trap z of f z. We'll get a vector called area, and or a, a thing called area, and you'll see here that it just returns a single value. It's a one by one double over here in the right workspace. We want the impulse as a function of time, so we're going to go ahead and define a variable impulse and use the function cum trap z of f z. And now we get over here in our workspace an impulse, which is a 4,820 by one double, which is the length of our data. And if I create a figure and plot imp, I can get a line that increases continuously. So that's good. Uh, that's what I want. It goes from zero to 5,000. Um, I can plot it versus time as well if I want. And now the horizontal axis becomes time. So that's good. But you'll notice that it's increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing, which corresponds to, on our original figure, the fact that our subject is standing off on the force plate, just standing. So it's integrating the rectangles under here and treating those as force. So you're going to want to think about how you might remove that when you use this as a technique to estimate your um, takeoff velocity when you use this technique.